Hi, I'm Johnny from UltimatePaperMache.com and I got my pattern done for a clownfish mask. And in this video, I'm going to show you how I paint him. Uh, there's two other videos on my website at UltimatePaperMache.com clownfish mask. And those show you how to actually tape all the pattern pieces together. And then I show you how to put the paper mache on there. Um, it, it's kind of big, so that actually does take quite a lot of time. But I only used one layer, and I just used uh, newspaper and cook flour and water paste. So it wasn't hard. There's a couple of things in that video, though, about like how to get these fins to stick straight out. I think they look like ears, but... <laughs> I wanted them to go out this way and that was a little bit tricky because the paper mache wanted them you know because it was wet and they wanted them to kind of flatten out and that it was easy to fix though so if you want to look at those go ahead and and um, check out those videos I will put a link to the to that page down below I'm gonna put it on can't do it with my glasses Now it actually does stay on my head pretty good even without these, but if I was dancing around <laughs> you know, at a party or something, I really would need to tie it on. <laughs> I've been asked by a lot of people over the years to make a pattern for clownfish. I think it's because of the uh, Finding Nemo Jr. play that a lot of people have gotten really excited about him, and I just now finally got around to it. <laughs> Let me show you how I painted. Now the first thing obviously was to figure out <laughs> what color he was and where all the stripes go. So I went out and found some really good photos out on Wikipedia for the clownfish and I and I used those as my model for the stripes. I know you can't see the lines that I'm drawing with a pencil because it's pretty light but I did draw some lines uh, just to get started. The first white stripe just goes right behind his eyes and in front of the the side fins and then there's kind of a wide stripe that goes behind the upper fin and the the side fins and it just kind of curves around and there's a white stripe uh, at the base of his tail so that didn't take very long just to draw those out and some of them actually follow the shapes of the pattern pieces which made it a little bit easier even the painting itself was really easy it wasn't exactly fast because i did have to wait for each layer to dry and that was kind of frustrating because I wanted to hurry up and get it done but it turned out I think really nice it was um it was easy to do because there's only three colors it's cadmium red light titanium white and black that's it and it's the the cadmium red light is a transparent color so when I was painting that on and that's that's what I did first it's because it's transparent the the white from the gesso was showing through but it, but it wasn't dark enough of course so i did have to go back over it with the second layer but the first layer shows through the second one because again the second layer was transparent too it really made the red parts uh, have a, a nice interesting almost glow to it if you do want to give it a third layer though it would be solid orange if that was really what you were looking for so i let that dry I painted some titanium white over the white stripes. The gesso is white too, so I guess you wouldn't have to do that, but I did. And when that was dry, I painted some wiggly black lines uh, around the edges of the fins and the tail and those white lines, and that that was it. <laughs> but actually, the hard part of this was waiting for the paint to dry. <laughs> I really like him. I like his face. I just like the way he looks. So what I'm going to do with mine is I'm going to put a couple of tiny little holes and use some fishing line to hang him up over my um, over my desk in my office area. I just I just think that'd be really cool. He'll be up kind of high. I won't be right like looking at him really super close because it's going to be up almost to the ceiling. So I didn't get carried away with any really fine details because if you're going to see it from so far away you really don't need to but I, I just really had fun with it I, I really <laughs> really like the way it came out I like the way it feels when I'm wearing it um this this was a I'm just really happy with this one if you would like to make your own clownfish mask remember you can use my pattern if you want to at ultimatepapermache.com slash 
clownfish mask and that's where you can also see those other two videos that I told you about. If you do make one, please come back to my website and show it off. Uh, you can do that on the Daily Sculptors page on my website and I would really like to see it. I know a whole lot of other people would like to see it too, so please do come back to my website and let us see how it turns out. Now go make something and then come visit me, ultimatepapermache.com. I'll see you there.